good morning students we are doing chapter 1 revision worksheet yesterday we have solved five question of this and today we are going to continue with question number 6 so here is your question number 6 observe the pattern and fling the blanks you have to observe the pattern and you have to fling the blank in this so your question number 1 is 99 98 97 so what we are doing here we are going backward here from 99 99 98 97 now we skip again one number backward so what comes 96 then again we will skip one number backward 95 then again we will skip one number backward 94 then again we will do 93 so here is this pattern we are skipping one Number backward ninety nine ninety eight ninety seven ninety six ninety five ninety four and ninety three. Now come to question number two, hundred one hundred two hundred three hundred. We are skipping one one hundred one hundred two hundred three hundred. Now what comes after this four hundred, then five hundred, then six hundred. And then seven hundred. Now look at the question number C, fifteen, twenty-five, thirty-five. So here we are skipping ten ten numbers, fifteen, twenty-five, thirty-five, then forty-five, fifty-five, sixty-five, and then seventy-five. So here we have done this question. Observe the pattern. We observe the pattern and fill in the blank according to this. Now come to the question number seven. Ring the greatest number and cross the smallest number. Students, we have solved this question before that. I, uh, so again, we will do the same. So we have to find out the greatest number and the smallest number. So we have to ring or circle the greatest number and cross the smallest number. so what we will do we will compare these numbers so how we will compare this number first look at these numbers three digits are there in each number one stands 100 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 and one stands 100 so what we will do first we will compare the first digit of this number these numbers so here in this number one is at 100 place in this number five is at 100 place in this number six is at 100 place In this number eight is at hundred place. In this number two is at hundred place, and in this number one is at hundred place. So which is the greatest number? Eight is the greatest number. So what we will do? We will ring or circle the greatest number, eight hundred thirty. Now we will find out the smallest number. So here you can see smallest is the one and one. These both digits. So we will compare these both digits. One. Is at hundred place in this number. One is at hundred place. Now we will compare the tens place. Three is at hundred place, and in this number zero is at hundred place. So it means three is greater than zero, and this means zero is less than three. So we will. This is a smallest number. So we will cross this number. So students, we have find out greatest number and smallest number. We ring or circle the greatest number and cross the smallest number. Now look at the question number eight. Ring the number with three in the tens place. So students, you have to find out ki in which number three is at tens place. So we will do the same. We will mark it once tens hundred, once tens hundred, once tens hundreds, once tens hundreds, once tens hundreds, once tens hundred. Now we will see in which number three is at tens place. So here you can see in this number three is at ones place. So we will not ring this number. In this number two is at ones place and three is at tens place. So it means this is a number. We will circle this because three is at tens place. Now see in this number three is at hundred place. So we will not circle this number. In this number three is at tens place. So we will circle this number. Again, in this number, you can see three is at tens place. So we will circle this number. In this number, three is at ones place. So we will not circle this number. So students, we have find out in which number three is at tens place, and we circle this number. Now come to the question number nine. Compare the numbers and insert greater than or less than sign. Again, we have to do the same. We have to compare the number. Here you can see three digits are there in this number. 
in this number also three digits are there so what we will do we will compare these number so here you can see six is at hundred place in this number same six is at hundred place six is at tens place in this number same six is at tens place at once place six is here at once place zero is here it means six is greater than zero so it means this number is greater than this number now see compare the first place eight is at one hundred place three is at hundred place so eight is greater than three so we will put this sign greater than to this number and this number is less than this number now see four is at hundred place four is at hundred place so we will compare the tens place Seven is at hundred tens uh, tens place, and eight is at tens place. So eight is greater than seven. It means this number is greater than this number. Friend, look at the question number ten. Filling the blanks before, between, and after. You have to write the numbers before, between, and after. So one hundred seven. So what comes just before one hundred seven? We have to write. So what comes just before one hundred seven? One hundred six. So we will write one hundred six here. And what comes just after the one hundred seven? One hundred eight. So we will write one hundred eight here. Now next number is nine hundred eighty nine. So what comes just before nine hundred eighty nine? So the number is nine hundred eighty eight. And what comes just after nine hundred eighty nine? Nine hundred ninety. students i have explained you yesterday successor and predecessor it is the same the just before and just after if you want to find the just before of any number so what we will do we will subtract one from this number so if you want to find the just before of 989 so what can do we will subtract one from this number so we will get a number just before 900 89. So it is 988. And if we want to find the number just after the 990, so we will do the method of successor. It means we will add one in this number. Sorry, 989. So we will add one in this number. So we will get a number 990. So 990 is the successor of 989. Now. Three hundred ninety and three hundred twenty-one. So what comes just between three hundred nineteen and three hundred twenty-one? Three hundred twenty. So three hundred twenty is a number just between three hundred ninety and nineteen and three hundred twenty-one. Now six hundred fifty and six hundred fifty-two. What comes just between six hundred fifty and six hundred fifty-two? Six hundred fifty-one. So students, we have solved. this worksheet we have solved 10 question of this worksheet i hope now chapter 1 is clear to you now we will continue with the chapter 2 so practice this question at your home thank you have a nice day